In this discussion, you can see create method, which is one of useful ORM method. Also, we will see supported decorator and in which situation we need to override this method. If you missed previous discussion related overview of ORM methods, please check link is given in description. If you don't know why create method is important, Let's create one student profile and try to override that method. Going to browser. Now we are going to student profile. And you can see here total 20 student profiles is created. Now we are creating one more uh, student profile. Now, once I will click to this save button, it will uh, Odoo ORM will hit the create method and it will store data inside database. You can see here, this is 36th ID created with this administrator student profile. And if I'm going to in list view, you can see here total 21 record is available. Now we are trying to override that create method. Going to editor. And just checking that student profile. Okay, you can see here this is our school profile. And now I am just going to override create method def then after create and values this is the method name and uh, having a two parameter this is usually instance of this uh, school model and we have to pass one more parameter is values which will having a dictionary of these fields and now I'm just calling the super method rtn as a variable name and then after i'm just giving as a super and here the first parameter we have to pass the this class name then after comma and self then after we have to use this method like create and the same the parameter we have to pass here that's it and we have to just return this rtm variable and i'm just going to restart the service and again going to browser create one more profile administrator click to save button so you can see here it's generating one error because we missed one one important thing and that uh, error error is like this type error and uh, the method name after that you can see here missing one required positional argument values because we forgot to add decorator at the rate API dot model so now this create method we successfully override now I am just to restart the service and going to browser again and trying to click to the save button so you can see here it successfully generated it means that we override that create method successfully now let's see some test case now going to editor and print the values values of create method as a values and then self and we are just added this self for our reference and again we will print this return statement 
RTN. So we are expected here is a dictionary. This is a current instance of this profile, student profile. And here we will get record set of that current, the newly created record set. Restart the service. Going to browser and again creating one more student profile administrator then after two after I'm just adding one uh, some fields here and uh, 20 once I will click here you can see uh, it's created successfully this record and going to editor and you can see here this is the values like student fees is 1900 active is true then after name which is the student name administrator 2 then after currency id school id this is the many to one field from front front end side you can see that name like euro and then sunny leone both are many to one field so directly it's get we are getting only ids of this uh, from that table not this name and this is a many to one field and we are just trying to add uh, if we are adding a multiple checkbox and it will give us a list of ids only not the names so i'm just going to again in backend side terminal you can see this is a hobby list and we are getting we selected two uh, hobbies so here you can see these two unique ids we got and total fees is 20 then after the self we already printed this is the current model name model means this class name instance name and then after this print like written statement you can see here this is a written statement and uh, in database side it successfully created one record and that id is 38 of this school uh, dot student model so basically now we are doing one uh, one more interesting thing now we are trying to add some default values here i'm just removing this default equal to true and adding here like values active equal to true so whenever create a new record means new student this parameter pass to the super method and it will save along with this key so i'm just removing this one this print statement and going to again uh, print uh, create a new print statement after edit values then after values and here i'm just changing the print statement before edit values and i'm just removing this print statement and restart the service again going to browser and create a new one so you can see here by default this checkbox is unchecked and you can see this fees by default hang 1900 and now i'm just creating a new student student profile administrator 5 and trying to sell okay it's successfully sell you can see here this student fees and uh, you can see there is uh, yeah you can see here edit equal uh, add active is false by default and after edit you can see active is true so if I'm going to browse a uh, browser you can see this by default it's checked so you can also add your default values in create method but make sure you just add this add value before super call it will inject in uh, insert statement it is also possible to add here but not like this way like this way uh, rewrite this object so 
this is our record set and here we have to use like this equal to true so this is the main difference like before create statement like before super calling you have to override values and add here or if you want to add some changes after super method so you have to use like this way again I am just uh, restart the service and uh, going to create a new student profile six you can see by default it's uh, unchecked it means false and once I will click to sell you can see it's checked so like this way you can also do it from after the super call and uh, sometimes you have you having a bunch of data and you want to create uh, in one in one shot it is also possible using create statement but here we have to use uh, we have to change this attribute name like model underscore create underscore multi if you are using only at the right API dot model it means you are just trying to create only single value at like single profile at a time but if you are using like this way this value will treat as a list of dictionary not only the dictionary so let me show you one demo I am just restart, uh, restarting this service and again I am open new terminal so now I'm execute this re-execute this method uh, add-ons path add-ons then after Odoo training then after custom add-ons and uh, I'm using this first app database and now you can see right now I'm in uh, term uh, I'm in Odoo's console and uh, let me create one uh, multiple student list student list and here I'm using a multiple list of dictionary right now I will try to create uh, three records here like uh, it means like a three three student profile student one two three then after student four five six and name student seven eight nine and one more student name Sunny Leone and Andrew Keys. We are just trying to create these four student profiles. Now I'm going to create one variable student list equal to self dot env. And here I'm using the school student profile and student underscore list. Once I'll enter oops spelling mistake okay so now I will print this statement so you can see here this is a record set and uh, this is a record set like 49 50 51 and 42 uh, records created and if I'm going to here and refresh the page you can see here also like I can't see any archived data as well as the active records here but uh, I just forgot to add commit from terminal so once I will commit self dot underscore cr dot commit 
now it will inject to the database permanently and uh, you can see here like refresh the page you can see it it's a 25 records but it's created in archive mode because you can see student 1 2 3 student 4 5 6 student 7 8 9 and sunny leone so why it's added in archive mode because if you remember early we here you can see this active field in parameter we remove that default equal to true that's why it's added into archive mode directly so i'm just adding one more time true and again i'm going to create one more student profile list to stud and students and here i'm using like name oops because it's not working like that way right now we added here this default equal to true but we didn't restart the service so again i'm just exit this one and uh, we execute the script students equal to okay in list view and here i am using like web lance this is a first student and this is our second student name student two 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 something like this now i'm trying to create a list of the students school dot student and in create method i'm just passing this variable you can see 53 and 54 created and going to browser and refresh the patch you can see here it's still 25 and uh, in archive mode you can see still it's four records again i'm going to terminal and just commit this entry don't worry about uh, this this one i will cover this one in next upcoming session again going to browser and refresh the page you can see here it uh, previous it was 25 and now it's 27 you can see web lunch and student 222 it's there for the double check you can see 53 is uh, primary key and 54 if I'm going to here in terminal, you can see 53 and 54. So like this way, you can override this method, this create method. And you, just, you have to remember this two decorator here. Simple. That's it. If you have any doubt, please comment below and see you in next session.